I think you showed me the other day how to assign subgroups, right? Mm -hmm. You select and you'll see which ones are on that subgroup. Right. Once you hold it down. Right, correct. And you can tell, and you can push any of those and it'll add it to that subgroup. That's right. You can just push that and those, now, now all six of those would be controlled from this one slider. Okay. Because we have it selected. So let you can let go. Now if you want to unassign it, just the opposite. Just hold it, down it and unassign it. Okay. Simple as that. How do I get effects onto all the vocals, or if I want to make sure there's no effects going to our guitars? How do I know what those effects are connected to? Well, you have uh, the easiest way you can you, you can kind of glance at it a, a couple of ways, but you know the four effect sends are are aux sends thirteen through sixteen. That's what that's what sends a channel into an effect. Okay, so you have you have four different effects set up in here. I mm -hmm. assume you're probably using the same ones that you have. Yeah, we haven't uh, changed anything. Yeah, effects just one, generate. which is a, a delay. Well, that has been changed. Uh, I know that's not stock, but two is a reverb. Three is another delay, which seems redundant. And then four is chorus. So typically that first one is, is a reverb, but whatever. I mean, it doesn't matter, but you do have two delays called up for whatever reason. So... Um, Usually guys will like to have a shorter reverb called up for more basic stuff and then maybe set the second one where it's a little bit longer, bigger yeah. kind of reverb, and then the delay, and then a chorus that you would typically only put on guitars, usually only acoustic guitars, but you could put them on electric, but you're really not going to hear any effect of a chorus on a vocal, it's just, you're just not going to notice it. Right. So usually that's something that you wind up putting on an acoustic guitar. So those are already in there, and that's basically what you have set up, or what somebody else tweaked. Well, uh, that's what I set up, and then somebody changed the first one, whether intentionally or... It was not intentional, whoever or, did it. They or, didn't know what they were doing. Or yeah. accidentally. So let's say if we're going to select over here on the third uh, subgroup over here. Do you call those subgroups? What do you call those? No, we, banks. You mean? Banks, okay, okay third uh -huh. bank. Right. And that's where we got our reverb. And see, this one, I don't think we do anything with that. We do this, this, and this. Uh -huh. And that's on our vocals. Right. How do we know it's on our vocals, and how do we know it's not on our guitars and stuff? Okay, so you have to just uh, check the sends to see if they're being fed into those units. So okay. Remember that these are the returns. This is the effect coming back into the system. So whether that was a separate piece of rack gear or built in, you can imagine that you had an effect send that went mm -hmm. into that mm -hmm. reverb unit mm -hmm. or that delay unit or that chorus unit if there were three separate pieces. And then they'd have to, you'd have to come out of them and come back into the board somehow to be able to hear what you sent. So, so does that mean it's sent? This is the sends. This is, this is the send, and, and this, this and is the return. That means it's stopped. That's right. Now it's returned. That's right. Okay. And now it's returned into the mixer, and it's on. So let's you? let's yeah let's let's but let's go back to your first question, which which will help make more sense to you. So let's just select um, microphones and channels. So we'll go back up to where our mics mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. Here's Marshall. All right. Okay. So we want to see if Marshall's going to any of those effects. You can you can do that a, a kind of a variety of ways. You know, go 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 to your home screen is is kind of an you know, I mean, you, you always want to work from your home screen when you're working the board, no matter what. So I can look at my home screen, and I can see that you're being fed to all four of those effects. Right okay, now. okay. There they are, 13, 14, 15, and 16. If I came over here, and I can, I'll, I can also see here, if, that makes, if that's easier than glancing at that. But if I don't want you going to 16, I just turned, uh -huh. you, I just turned you off. And you Same way as your EQ, you're pulling one piece at a time. Yeah, there, there's, that was the chorus. Now, that's uh, the delay. That's the reverb. Of course, this is another delay. Now you're not going to any of them. Okay. So, um, and it's okay to leave you going to them all. I mean, it's not that it's wrong, but that can get a little bit weird at times. Not much. Well, it could just be that, let's just say, if you wanted to use that chorus on your acoustic guitar, mm -hmm. you and as soon as you turn the chorus on, it's off. If you, as soon as you turn it on, and feed the, you're you're already feeding Marshall into the chorus, so Marshall's going into the chorus. I can go over here to mm, this acoustic guitar and go, okay, I'm going to feed the chorus to that acoustic guitar, and it's getting it's getting chorus. We're also getting Marshall too. He's getting chorus because we told Marshall to go to the chorus. So all those are going to get chorus because all of those are selected to get them. That's right. And since you would never hear it on a vocal, you should just turn that off. That way you're not accidentally coming into the chorus and muddying up yeah. the water, if you, so to yeah. speak. So 
the first thing you would I would do if I was just kind of glancing at my effects is go, man, what's going to the chorus? Because I probably don't want anything going to my chorus. I'm just using this as an example, but I don't probably want anything going to my chorus except my acoustic guitars. Okay, that's probably all I'd want. So I'd go through here and I'd start looking at channels and I'd go, okay, well that that second vocal's getting chorus and that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's fine. We're good, no problem. Okay, there we go. There's acoustic guitar that we just turned up. That's fine if we want it. I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. Whoop. And that's, what is that? Uh, another so we'll take vocal another vocal mic. So we take that out. We do the same thing on 17 on up. So it looks like there's anything. Yeah, nothing there. there. Okay. So we go back to one. So now, now we know that the only thing going into that chorus is uh, the acoustic guitar. Because we set it up there a while ago. Now, if, if on the return end... If I turn it off, it doesn't matter if that's turned up or not. Right. He's you, going into that chorus. Yeah. You're just not going to hear it because right. you've told your you've told it not to yeah. you not to hear it. So that that's that's where the return side of it. So let's just say you know you're going to take your vocal mic and you want to feed you to again. You're you're going to two delays right now. So I would yeah, which is weird because we only thought we had one small reverb, one big reverb. You did and, originally. Yeah. And let's so just somebody say, change that small. So You're not using it, so it yeah. probably hadn't been an issue, right. but right. it does. When you get two delays, you're going to be really messy. Yeah, but as long since you're telling me you left this off, I yeah. mean, unless somebody turned it on, then it would be a, a mess. But um, if it was me, I'd probably put this back to a reverb and leave it there just that yeah. way in right. case somebody did turn it off. It would be pretty benign that, well, there's a little light reverb on, on the vocal and some and some delay or whatever, and that, that'd probably be okay, but double delay would be, especially depending on what their tempos are set at, would be a little bit weird. So one, one more simple fix back to if you click on your first bank and you click on, say, um, whichever one, mm -hmm. we're going to go there, mm -hmm. um, that tells me that's assigned to the house speakers, and Correct. that's the problem we've been having. That was a real simple fix, mm -hmm. but just pushing that button, we need to know that every one of those should be assigned to those house speakers because that's where they're all going to go. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's just like on your on your old board. Remember, you used to have a button that said L L R. Mm -hmm. That was that was that's this. Yeah. It's just in a different spot, but you okay. had it on your old board too, where you would assign it to subgroups or you would assign it to the left right, which is the which is the house. And if that was unassigned, you could turn that fader all you wanted and. It's not going to come out, but yeah, you can just walk through and look at that thing to see if it, if all they're all lit orange, and I think they all are. But if you see one that's not, then you'll know. You can turn to your heart's desire. What was confusing you the other day, though, was somebody accidentally had you assigned to the guitar submix, so there was a little bit of you kind of bleeding back yeah. through the yeah. back door, coming through the guitar submix, and and so there was something happening there, but it was kind of a little bit you know, kind of kind of weird, so. Okay, so I got a question about EQ too. John, do you mind playing drums for a second? I know you hate playing drums, but could you bang some noise and we'll see what we're doing with EQ? So if we, we open up all the drums and we start seeing some indicator lights, mm -hmm. um, then it's my understanding on the EQ. Just kick your bass drum for a while, John. Let's start with that. Um, and then let's, yeah, let's look at that. Okay, so because that's naturally going to be the sound that's coming in there, we're amplifying that natural part of it, right? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so <clears throat> this is not a natural sound for the bass drum. That's why we're not seeing much of it, right? 